What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video. Also that you guys are all here again watching this video and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a lyric video. Now I want to give a big shout out to the person that has requested this topic in last Sunday's live stream and I'm going to uh, go live on Sunday, give live lessons on, Ve on Vegas Pro 15 uh, I think once every Sunday so I would say make sure to smash that like button down below and also enable the non notifications on my channel so you guys will see my videos at first when they come out so let's start off with today's video and right here we're in vegas pro and i'm going to drag in a song that has lyrics in it so in order to um, able to don't get any copyright issues i'm going to use no copyright sounds so i'm going to drag in uh, an image at first that's really that we're going to use uh, as the background so i'm going to go ahead and drag in this nice image as you can see a very cool one and then right here we're going to make the lyrics appear on the music so i'm going to go ahead and drag in a an ncs song I'm just gonna drag in the song Feel Good by Sinkhole. Obviously, you guys all know that song. So I'm gonna put up my headset and I'm gonna sh uh, show you guys exactly what song that I mean. So this is the song that we're gonna use. That sounds really good but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the text appear on the music so we're gonna go ahead and click on insert video track we're gonna go to the media generators we're gonna, we're gonna pick titles and text and we're gonna drag the sample text the default and we're gonna put that one on top of the track so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up the lyrics of this song okay so as you can see this is this is the page where we can find the lyrics so at first she says you got the feeling I know you're there so we're gonna drag in the first uh, sentence paste it into Vegas we're gonna go uh, back to Vegas. Let me see where it is. Here it is. We're gonna drag it in and um, first I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller Let's say that we're gonna put this one to 20 and we're gonna pick a nice different font I'm gonna use a nice written font. Okay, the font that we're gonna use is going to be own written rather We're gonna make this a little bit small uh, a little bit bigger and we're gonna put this one right here And in order to not really make a standard one, uh, we're gonna add in some 3d uh, modeling So we're gonna go ahead and time this Okay, so that one was really cool, so we're going to cut it. Well, we're not going to cut it, but we're going to go ahead and click a new video track. And we're going to insert uh, a second one, and we're going to just type in this one. I know you're there. I know you're there. And we're going to put this one below it. So this is basically what it looks. Boom, so that's what we're gonna do first. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna animate this a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the uh, event pan crop icon. And we're gonna go ahead and make this, you got the feeling, uh, text slide into the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click on sync cursor. We're gonna start off by clicking on this icon until it says move to Y only. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this text outside of the screen and what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and put a keyframe around right here click on right click click on restore and this is basically what it looks like so that looks really cool but we're going to make it a little bit faster like this So that one looks really cool, but we're gonna, we're gonna also do that for the second, for the I know you're there. So we're gonna also, first, the same thing, just go ahead and drag it outside of the screen for a second. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a keyframe right here, click on restore, and this is what it looks with the animated text. Boom, and then it just starts over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bit look a little bit more 3D. So we're gonna go to the uh, track motion icon. We're gonna uncheck the uh, sync cursor for a second. Then what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna click on source alpha, and we're gonna put this one to 3D source alpha. Now, as you can see, if we turn around with those, as you can see, it is looking. Uh, 3D-ish kind of thing. You can do it like so. As you can see, that one looks really cool. So let's say that we're gonna put our text uh, like this. Like that, that one looks really cool. Let's move it up. Let's move it around a little bit. So this is basically the first one. Let's also move up uh, the second one. So we're gonna go to the track motion of the other text, 3D source alpha, and then we're gonna make this one look a little bit different. So let's say that we're gonna put it like so. I know you're there. I'm gonna place it right here. So this is basically how it looks. And 
And then what we can do is it starts over again. So we're gonna just gonna get copy those. Uh, press Control V. There, here we are, and here they are again. So that looks really cool, but what we're going to do is we're going to make those text float a little bit. So we're going to go to the event pan crop. Then we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, just place a keyframe right here. Then we're going to just move this uh, text uh, just a l tiny bit. And we're going to move them around just a little. So we're going to just keep on creating keyframes. And once the text is floating a little bit, what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and apply those on all the text. So I'm going to speed up the camera or, or add in some music so you guys won't see this entire thing and bore you guys with that. So I'm going to just do this for all the text files. You should grow feathers and see this too. Okay guys, so I just got done editing all four uh, text files, so this is what it looks in total. I'm gonna add in a nice fade in into the image as well. So this is what it, what I come to create. Okay, that sounds and that looks really, really cool, but we're gonna make the I know you're there uh, text file uh, float a little longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place those around and I'll just skip it to uh, when I'm finished. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so in order to make the text disappear as well, I'm gonna just add in a nice fade out. And in order to, you know, you can when when the when the vocals are fading in, you can just add in the text, and you can like lower the opacity a little bit. That that looks really cool. So we're gonna do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, copy those, and you can lower the opacity just a little bit. As you can see, when the when the uh, image is, is uh, fading in, we also have the text in uh, the text with a little lower opacity. So we're gonna you know copy those again, put the opacity up a little more. Okay, so when she keeps repeating, saying, uh, I, uh, you got the feeling, I'm gonna just make those really small and add in a fade, uh, fade out, and we're gonna just copy those anytime she says that word or sentence. Paste it again. And when the volume goes down of the, of the voice, we can also lower the opacity. Anytime she says whoa, and we're gonna also uh, paste this guy in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the text to whoa, like she's saying. Like so, whoa, we're gonna make this also a little bit bigger. And we're gonna put this one in the middle of the screen. So this is, this is what it looks like. And then the whole process uh, process just starts again. Uh, she's starting to say you got the feeling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy those again.
So that looks really, really cool. So let's see and what, what we made in total. And this is basically how to create a lyric video. Thank you for the person that requested this. And this is what we have created as the end result. So that's basically how to do it guys. This is how you create an awesome lyric video. So that's it. Thank you for watching and make sure to also check out my live streams every two Sundays on the channel. So that's it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Just Alex Halford.